Well, where a state parks and wildlife officer frees a trap bear, watch this. This video is amazing. So he walks right up with his phone, looks inside. Wait a sec. Here you go. There is the snout of the bear. So uh, after several attempts, the officer manages to set the bear free. So he's trying to get that door open. He knows the bear's right in there. Get, get, get. Get, 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 he yells to that bear, and he heads right off into those beautiful aspen trees. So parks and wildlife officials are warning people not to leave food in vehicles because bears can smell it. And somewhat ominously, bears in many cases have learned how to open doors. And clearly that's what happened there. So just like we saw a bear at a Safeway store up in the Prescott area and a bobcat on a roof in Mesa, you guys, this bear incident didn't happen way out in some wilderness. It's just a suburb of Denver, about 15 miles outside of Denver, in a town called Evergreen, Colorado. Back. Probably learned something from that, uh, you know, from that wildlife expert. I, I'm surprised that he got that close to open the door. I would yeah. look for a giant yeah. stick or no something, kidding. a cane to open the you door. You see the slobber on the window? Yeah, and I bet that car is trashed inside. <laughs> oh, it was. Oh, he finds the damage. Ron, thank oh. you. All righty, here we are in Evergreen. Got a bear that got into a trash can last night and then opened an unlocked vehicle and went inside to get dog food inside. So we're going to let him out. And, and there's our bear. Who uh, has the doors locked. Give it a try again. Get out of here. Get, get, get. Move. Go, go, go. Get on, bear. Go.